Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I want to talk about a very common fungus that we have around here. Uh, it's technically, it's called take all root rot. Uh, some people will hear it called take all. Uh, you'll hear it called Bermuda decline because uh, when it's in Bermuda, you'll hear it called uh, uh, patch death, uh, grass decline, patch decline. There's several different names that you'll hear this called, but at the end of the day, it's all the same. It's a fungus. It's called take all root rot and it does exactly what the name says it rots the roots and then it takes out the grass it takes all the the the, the grass away the reason you'll hear it called uh, uh patch spot and other things is because it it dies and, it, and, and you'll notice and i'll show you some pictures it has very irregular shapes unlike brown patch which is another fungus that has very regular shapes regular circles symmetrical circles this is very irregular and it, it dies in, in very patchy areas. So the, the way to notice it, the way to spot it, is you'll the, the first signs that you're gonna start seeing are the grass is gonna start turning lime green and you'll have little bitty spots, maybe the size of a baseball, you're gonna start noticing uh, dead grass. So the way this fungus works is, is that it, uh, it's at the base of the actual blade of grass down where the, the, the blade meets the root system, if you will, and that's where all the death starts happening. And the reason that take all root rot tends to be more deadly than others is because you typically speaking, the fungus has progressed and has been around longer before you actually realize it. Therefore, you react later. Uh, the treatments aren't as effective. Uh, depending on the timing that you get them in. You're gonna typically see it in yards that have got uh, water issues. They stay real moist. When we get big temperature swings like we've been having, it's uh, you can see it in spring and fall. However, it's a very common disease to see springtime, early summer. And the reason we say early summer is because typically it's growing and it's developing in the springtime, but it's early summer before you actually start seeing the effects and start realizing it. So um, you're not going to spread it with mowers. So your lawn company is not going to bring it from one yard to another. Uh, it is going to spread through the, the, the soil and the root systems though. So you don't want to ignore it. Even if it's, uh, it, if it's active, you especially want to get on it. If it's inactive, you still want to keep your eye out and treat that area. So if you got any questions, if you need any help, if you need any suggestions, uh, let us know. We're here to help you. Look forward to hearing from you. Y'all have a good day.